This is the Majority Everest 5.1. It's a Dolby soundbar and subwoofer with satellite speakers included as well. It was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just sharing with you my experience of using this over the past few weeks so that you can make an informed buying decision. We're going to take a look at the box contents very shortly, but I want to just run through the specifications and also the fact that this is a great value for money soundbar. It supports Dolby Audio. It's also got a wireless subwoofer and speakers, Bluetooth and optical support, touch controls, Dolby sound, remote control, and you can also actually hardwire products into this as well via USB, AUX, optical, and HDMI arc. The big selling point of this soundbar is not only the flexibility and the great audio that it produces, but the price point is very, very affordable. Let's take a closer look at what we get inside the box, apart from the soundbar itself and the subwoofer. So this is the accessories box that comes with the Majority Everest 5.1, and I wanted you to experience this as a first unboxing. So this is about two weeks before I've recorded the main video. So what we've got inside this particular box is some mounting brackets. We've also got an audio cable here. So this is like an RCA stereo audio cable. We've also got the remote control. This is a, a nice looking remote control made of plastic, rubberized buttons. We've got controls for various volumes, center, sub, surround and front volumes. You can control all of those independently. We've got sound bar power and also surround power as well. Bass and treble adjustments as well. We've got Bluetooth arc and lining, USB, optical and LED button, mute, aux, pairing, music, news and movie. So really nice looking remote control. This is powered by two AAA batteries which are included inside the box. And then we've also got inside here a power supply. So these power supplies are going to be for the separate components. So at this stage, I'm not sure what these are for, but this one is probably for the, uh, the soundbar, I would imagine, or the subwoofer. And then we've got one here again for the subwoofer or soundbar. We've got another beefy power supply here as well. And then we've also got another power supply. So it looks like we've got power supplies for, I would imagine the two smaller power supplies are for the surround speakers and then the larger power supplies are for the sound bar and subwoofer. So plenty of plugs there to plug in to get this powered up. We've also got a three and a half mil to three and a half mil cable. We've got some mounting hardware for those brackets to mount the sound bar on the wall. We've also got an instruction guide for the whole system. So it says here about the power adapters and the wall mount adapters and how to connect everything up and get up and running. So a nice user guide included. Also got a three year warranty. You need to register to unlock the three year warranty. So nice that they really do back their products with a nice long warranty. Also included with the kit are two satellite speakers and they come with these stands as well. These are really nicely made. So we've got a nice weighty metal stand that locks onto the base. And you use these stands if you're going to uh, place these on a bookshelf or a table, for example. If you want to, you can actually mount these to the wall. They've got this like keyhole mount. And on the bottom here, you can see that these are individually powered. So you'd use one of those power supplies that I showed you earlier to plug into the DC five volt input here. And then we've got the power on off button. We've also got this connector here, which is where that actual mount locks into. There's little pins that lock it into place, which is very, very interesting way of doing things. I would say that when these are mounted on the wall, you don't want these stands attached and it does leave this exposed a little bit on the bottom but it is a nice casing to this satellite speaker nice grill on the front they look the part they really do look nice and compact 
and hopefully during my review section which is coming up next I'll tell you whether these sound good or not so stay tuned. So this is the majority subwoofer ported at the front here made of a wood material and then coated in this black the finish is pretty good I'm impressed with this we've got the actual subwoofer driver on the side we've got some feet on the bottom and then on the back we've purely got the connection for the power supply and the on off switch and that's because this is a wireless subwoofer so there's no actual cable connection to this this means that you've got very easy placement of the subwoofer uh, the low frequencies that are produced by this should be sort of non-directional so you shouldn't really know where the subwoofer is placed but the fact that this is wireless means you can tuck it sort of down the side of a sofa or somewhere that's unobtrusive and it works extremely well i've had some early tests with this and i'm really impressed with how easy this is to connect and how low this goes this is the actual soundbar itself very nice looking soundbar it's got some mounting options on either end and also these end caps actually twist off and you can see when you remove these end caps they've got the same connection as on those satellite speakers so I'm assuming you've got some sort of functionality where you can connect the two together. We've also got the main controls across the top here so we've got the power on off, the source, volume, play pause etc so nice rubberized buttons across the top. The main grill is really nicely done. You can see on one end it says Dolby Audio and then on the opposing end we've got the majority branding and again this cap on this end twists off as well. We've also got a display behind the grill in the centre and you can just about make out all of those speaker units inside. They lend to producing some really good sound. Let's take a look at the connectivity in here so this is really nice because it's recessed into the speaker so we've got some space for cables to really sort of tuck away inside here and exit the soundbar nice and neatly inside we've got the power supply on the left then we've got the auxiliary in we've got the line input we've got optical in we've got arc in for that hdmi and also usb in as well so a really good array of connectivity on the soundbar. I'm very, very impressed with this. I think we should really talk about the audio quality now. And I've been so, so impressed with the audio quality of this soundbar. I do not think you'll be disappointed. The array of speakers across the front of the soundbar are absolutely superb. They really help you engage with the movie that you're watching. Add to that the functionality of the subwoofer and you're getting some really low frequencies which add to your experience again. And then you've got those two additional satellite speakers which again give you that surround sound. Absolutely superb. This is the full package and I'm very, very impressed with the audio that this delivers. If you want a decent soundbar, this is well worth checking out. If you've enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to make a purchase there are links down in the video description. Thanks for watching everybody, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.